you're not almost there. Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to talk about five upgrades to increase your bench. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. If you need coaching or you want to check out my Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales and deals on whey protein or t-shirts or coaching or even Team Massive, check it out down below. All right, let me, uh, we're going to dive into some upgrades. We're going to look at how to increase your bench by 50 pounds. We're going to specifically look at increasing your bench press by 50 pounds. And here are five upgrades to help you get there. All right, let's move along. Number one, upgrade your program. Upgrade your program. Just going into the gym, pushing for progress, trying to beat what you did last time is fine. But if you really want to get serious and add 50 pounds to your bench, we need to upgrade your programming a little bit. Now, I'm going to link a video down below where I get into talking about uh, talking about this a little bit more. Uh, we're going to focus on two steps, and I have step one and step one here, so obviously I have a typo. Step one, we're going to focus on CNS attack, and step two, we're going to focus on a concurrent attack. So whatever you're doing now is fine. I'm sure it's moving the needle a little bit, but what we want to do is we want to spend a, maybe a three or four month block on each of these. We're going to do a CNS attack. We're going to kind of try to train your central nervous system a little bit. Now, these rep ranges are going to seem a little bit weird if you haven't tried them before. But what's going to happen is when you get to the second or third set, things are going to start to feel lighter. We're really going to be firing that central nervous system. You're going to start to pick up confidence when you're doing these programs. So with the CNS attack, you're going to bench either two times a week or you're going to do one of these programs week one and one of these week two. So on the three, four, five, six, seven, you're going to use the same weight for five sets. So, you know, start with something you can do 10, 11, 12 reps with on week one. And you're going to use that weight after warm ups. And you're going to do a set of three, a set of four, a set of five, a set of six, and then a set of seven plus. Now, the last set is going to be max safe reps. On that set, when you hit seven or more reps, the next time you 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 attack this protocol, you're going to add five pounds to the bar. Now, you're going to say, why are we doing this? This is a really good way of training your central nervous system. You're going to notice the first set kind of feels like the heaviest. The second will feel a little bit better. And by the third, fourth, and fifth, your central nervous system is really firing and you can really get some good performance. Now. The second week or second workout of this protocol, the 5, 10, 10, 20, you're going to probably see a rep addition nearly every week on this protocol. It's just a brilliant protocol. It really works well. We're switching uh, to a little bit higher rep schemes here, obviously. Start with a weight you can perform about 20 reps with, and we're going to perform four total sets. You can do five reps with it, 10 reps with it, 10 reps with it. And then you're going to try to hit 20. If you hit 20 on the last set, then you add five pounds the next, uh, the next time you perform this scheme. So what you'll see is that you'll probably like this, first and foremost. It's super engaging. And you'll, a lot of my clients are using this to move their bench from 135 by 20 all the way up to 165 by 20, 185 by 20. And in some cases, over 200 by 20. So this combination, this CNS attack of the 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 plus and the 5, 10, 10, 20, don't discount it. Give it a try. It's been super effective for consistent progress. And again, I'd like you to run it three or four months. You can check out the link down below to it uh, if you want more information. Step two, and I excuse the typo here, is concurrent. Uh, after you progress with the first stage, we're going to work on concurrent periodization. It's concurrent periodization in the world of periodization is is smart uh, from a scientific standpoint. It shows to be, it shows itself to be extremely reasonable, extremely competitive. It's really easy to implement. You're going to have two workouts a week, or you're going to have again. Uh, you could do this week one workout and week two workout. You can do five sets of three. And you could drop that to four sets of three if this feels like too much volume. And then your second workout or week two is five sets of six. So on week number one or workout number one, you're going to put on a weight 
I don't know, where you can do about eight, nine, ten reps with that's a good starting point. And you're going to do five sets of three, 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 okay? Three reps. The next time into the gym, you're going to start to try pushing them to fours. So you want to get to four. Eventually, you want to get to four, 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 and four. So you want to get to five sets of four. So you want to try to squeeze four reps out of that first set. If you get that, you want to try to squeeze four reps out of the second set. If at any point you drop below three reps, let's say you did four, four, three, three, and then two, you lost a little bit of steam. You come back and you try to do four, four, three, three, three. You try to bring them back to all threes. Does that make sense? The five by six, you're doing the same thing. You're trying to get it to a five by seven. You're going to try to push that first set for seven reps, then that second set. And um, if any of them dip below six, like you do seven, 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 six, and five, the next time before trying to move those sevens up, you got to get that five back up to a six. So this is a good six to eight month plan of attack. Uh, it's, um, you know, it's a good next stage for those of you guys who have been grinding on just trying to improve your reps every other week. All right. Upgrade number two, focus, uh, a focus upgrade. We're going to focus on 10 plus ones. We're going to really focus on achieving 10 plus ones on your top set. So let me explain here. Whatever bench protocol you're doing, your heaviest set or your top set, or whatever you consider to be your most impactful set, if you add a plus one, if you add one rep to that set, you are adding about five pounds at least to your one rep max. So we want to focus here. I'm not just, you know, we. it's easy to go into the gym and like train and put weight on the bar and, you know, count your reps and kind of get lost in that world. But we also want to really focus on 10 plus ones. If you can add 10 plus ones or 10 rep additions to your top set or your most impactful set, you're going to add 50 pounds to your one rep max. And it's really easy to focus on that plus one. Hey, I got plus one this week. Great. My my one, you can just trust the process. Well, my one rep max is moving up. Next week, maybe you get two. You got three plus ones. Really easy to manage, really easy to focus. We're going to focus on 10 little baby steps to get that 50 pound bench increase. All right. Upgrade number three is an assistance exercise upgrade. We're going to focus on delts, triceps, and um and uh, I put delts, triceps, and delts. It's supposed to be, sorry, I'm doing this on Sunday morning, right, after uh, staying up too late. It's supposed to be delts, triceps, and chest. I apologize, delts, triceps, and chest. So those of you guys that know the Massive Iron Methods are probably familiar with this. Those of you that aren't, or those of you that haven't implemented them, you're going to get a refresher. On delts, I want you to move to a dumbbell and barbell overhead press variation every week. I don't care if it's seated, standing, push press, military press, seated pin press. I don't care what you're doing for your barbell overhead press variation. Dumbbell, you can do seated dumbbells, standing dumbbells, standing one-arm dumbbells. You can do Arnold's. I don't care. But we want to add in six sets um, of barbell and dumbbell overhead pressing work to really work on your shoulders. This is going to have decent carryover to your bench over time. Triceps. At minimum, I suggest six hard sets a week. Here I'm going to suggest if you really want to bump your bench up, have a period of time where you're doing nine to 12 hard sets. I want you to work in a close grip bench. I want you to work in skull destroyers. And if you don't know what skull destroyers are, I'll link that down below as well. And in addition to that, you want to add one to two other pet variations. It could be the PJR pullover. could be cable tricep extensions, bulldoze, or rest pause method. could be French press. could be assisted dips, push down. Don't really care. Uh, machine press downs. Don't really care. Work your triceps. Get those two cornerstone exercises in the close grip bench and the skull destroyers and then add one to two other exercises of choice. We're going to grow those triceps. We're going to get them big and we're going to get them strong and that'll help drive your bench. All right. Lastly, chess. A lot of you are just doing your bench and you're not doing a lot else. I want you to add dumbbell bench, at least three sets. I don't care if it's decline, incline, or whatever. Floor press, I don't care. I want you to add in three sets of dumbbell bench. I want you to add in another bench variation. 
could be pause bench, could be higher rep bench, like we have on the concurrent periodization or the CNS. We're adding in two bench variations. Here we're adding in two rep variations. That's fine. I want you to also focus on general chest work. Too many of us, when we're working on our bench, we focus on our delts and just our bench and maybe our arms, but we don't focus on working our chest. One thing you want to have in your program is an exercise or two exercises that really focus on chest strength. One of my favorites here is a dips and push-up superset. I give a lot of my clients two of these supersets. They do as many quality control dips as possible. Then they immediately superset with push-ups. And we're doing nice and controlled push-ups here. We're not doing just, we're not trying to knock them out rapidly. So focus on your delt work, focus on your tricep work, and focus on your chest work. All right. Upgrade number four is an attitude upgrade. Okay. An attitude upgrade. This is big. You need to learn to be patient. You need to learn to trust the process. You need to stop panicking. You need to breathe. You need to relax and understand that you're probably not going to add 50 pounds to your bench in a couple months. This is a process. But if you put all of these upgrades in this video into place, you're going to get there efficiently, effectively, and it's going to happen. Adding one rep uh, per month is okay. Think back to the uh, the uh, focus, uh, the focus upgrade where you're focusing on adding 10 plus ones. If you could add one of those every three weeks, in 30 weeks, you're going to improve your bench 50 pounds. How many of us wouldn't take a 50 pound bench increase every 30 weeks? That's just kind of a general sketch, but it's something to think about. You need to get in the tunnel, get in the tube, relax your ass, relax. Upgrade your attitude. Trust the program. Trust the process. Take a deep breath and just grind. All right. Finally, upgrade number five is a nutrition upgrade. And I can't stress the importance of this one enough. If you fuck this up, you are not taking your bench progress seriously. Period. End of story. If you do not take your nutrition seriously, you're not taking bench progress seriously. And I don't care how many excuses you have. You need to tighten your shot group, take your excuses, dump them in the trash bin, and set them on fire. If you are not serious about nutrition, you're going to experience slower bench progress and slower pressing progress in general. What does it mean to be serious about nutrition? It means you probably need to be in a bulk when you're running one of these three or four month plans of attack. When you're running a three or four month plan or program like the CNS activation program, the concurrent program, or just any regular bench program, you need to look at gaining probably about 10 pounds over three, four or five months during the course of this, uh, this program. Your, your calories need to be consistent. Okay. Are you listening to me? I don't care about your excuses. Life's that not bit. Life's not that busy where you can't work in a greater degree of consistency. You need consistent calories, consistent protein intake. You need consistent fuel, and you will probably want to focus on a ten pound uh, bulk over the course of three or four months. If you want to do a mini cut after that, that's fine. We can do a mini cut, reset for two or three months, and then move on to the next step. But the bottom line is if you don't take nutrition seriously, your bench progress is going to be slow. You need to get your shit together when it comes to nutrition. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.